PIMCO is known to be sort of the astute asset manager, active asset manager. However, uh, we realize that we've reached the point where interest rate adjustments can go only so far. Mm. Um, the equity markets are strong because interest rates were low, corporate earnings were better than people expected, mm -hmm. corporate balance sheets are heavily levered, um, the dollar is perhaps stronger, and we're trying to still make a judgment about whether the dollar, when the dollar is going to turn, but it is still strong. Um, fiscal stimulus is going to have to become, and this is why um, broader political conversation, this is why the people listening to Elizabeth Warren hmm. and the emergence of the left in the Democratic Party in the United States are getting some type of audience because they're talking about different types of changing the fiscal stimulus, they're talking about changing the tax rate, creating the, the realigning the safety net and dealing with this whole gap between the, the perceived gap and the real gap between the rich and the poor. So it's a real, it's a, it's a, a lot of things are converging at once. How would you be investing around an Elizabeth Warren presidency? I'm just curious because we've heard some real warnings from people on Wall Street. I mean, Leon Cooperman went as far to say that the stock market wouldn't open if in fact she were the president. Others, of course, disagree with that, but I'm curious if you have any thoughts. Uh, I think if she was, putting aside whether she's president or not, if she was the Democratic candidate, um, the stock market would adjust and probably downward uh, in a material way as soon as that became clear. Absolutely. There's no question about it. Um, Donald Trump has injected a lot of confidence because of his pro-business posture into the markets. Mm. The economy remains strong and, and therefore that's why you have this duality mm. of the China trade negotiation which people believe, the strength of the stock market, the strength of the economy juxtaposed with the impeachment. So right. uh, it's, it's a very odd combination and that's perhaps why Trump remains in a strong political position mm. today.